Good evening and welcome to your 18 WJTS newscast for Monday, June the 3rd, already six months into the year. Thank you for choosing us for your local news coverage this evening. I'm Jared Atkins here at the News Desk. On Friday, May 31st, Tell City Police Department stopped a vehicle for speeding, disregarding a stop sign and driving left of center on State Road 66 in Tell City. ISP Trooper Teresa Bowling stopped to assist and made contact with the driver of the vehicle, identified as 30-year-old Stephen Dunn from just across the river in Hallsville, Kentucky, and determined Dunn to be under the influence. He was transported to Perry County Memorial Hospital for a chemical blood draw and then lodged into the Perry County Detention Center on OWI charges. The Dubois County Commissioners convened on Monday morning for their regular session. Highway Superintendent Steve Berg and County Engineer Brent Winholt reported on various ongoing county projects, highlighting that chip and seal operations are proceeding as planned. Berg noted issues with public safety at work sites, prompting a discussion to fully close roads during construction for worker safety. The full summer paving schedule is available on the county's highway department's website. Additionally, phase two of the countywide bridge inspections was completed and received necessary approval for state submission. Discussions on HEA 1158 contract ordinance were postponed to the next meeting, and the commissioners approved Burns and McDonald to review the decommissioning plan for the EDP solar project. Four bids for asphalt paving under the Community Crossings grant were reviewed from Calcar Paving, J.H. Rudolph, CR Construction, and EMB Paving. These bids are under advisement until the next meeting. The next meeting is scheduled for Monday, June 17th at 8 a.m., available for live stream on YouTube under the Dubois County Government page. The 42nd Annual WBDC Country Showdown is just days away. The event kicks off on Friday, June the 7th at the Jasper Arts Center at 6.30 p.m. Twelve acts from across the region are performing this year with a few returning and some even making their showdown debut. Radio station WBDC is proud to once again be hosting Southern Indiana's longest running country music talent search with a chance for a local artist to win over $1,000. The Country Showdown will be hosted this year by WBDC morning DJ Ty and Beezer. This year, the audience in attendance will be eligible to win numerous door prizes that include a 70-inch TV, a Blackstone grill, outdoor pizza oven, diamond necklace, and more. Tickets are available for purchase in advance at the WBDC studios located at 458 3rd Avenue here in Jasper for $15 up until 12 p.m. on Friday, June the 7th. WBDC will donate $2 from every advance ticket sold directly to TriCap. Any remaining tickets will be sold at the door for $20. Children 12 and under are free for the showdown. Doors will open at 6 p.m. Showdown begins at 6.30 p.m. To view the full list of contestants for this year's WBDC Country Showdown, please visit our website. Jennifer McCormick, the Democratic candidate for Indiana governor who will run opposite Mike Braun in November, will host an event on June the 10th at the historic Jasper train station. The event is scheduled from 6 to 8 p.m. and will include a Q&A session following McCormick's presentation. McCormick, a strong advocate for women's rights and reproductive health, aims to address critical issues surrounding reproductive rights in the Hoosier state. This event will provide a platform for dialogue and discussion on policies affecting women's health care and autonomy. For more information about Jennifer McCormick's visit, please visit McCormickForGov.com. Multiple free paper shredding days are set to take place this year, sponsored by Kimball Corporate Recycling and supported by the Jasper Chamber. The next free paper shredding day is set to occur next week on Wednesday, June the 12th. These free paper shredding days will take place at the Kimball Corporate Recycling Center and are open to both public and businesses. Participants do not have to reside in Dubois County to take advantage of this. There is no limit on the amount of paper products brought in. Only paper and junk mail materials will be accepted for shredding. Magazines, newspapers, and cardboard will also be accepted. For more information, please visit our website. Salem United Church of Christ in Huntingburg is hosting their annual Vacation Bible School June 10th through the 14th from 9 to 11.30 a.m. 
Kids three years old through fifth grade are invited for a week of seeing, hearing, tasting, and experiencing God in various activities. You can register by calling the church office or visiting their Facebook page. The Boonville Police Department invites residents to join the National Night Out Against Crime on August 6th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Boonville City Lake. This event aims to foster police and community partnerships and strengthen neighborhood spirit. National Night Out is celebrated by over 15,000 communities across all 50 states. Boonville residents can enjoy free food and drinks and interact with local law enforcement. The event will feature music, inflatable games, prizes, and displays from Boonville Fire Department, Warwick EMS, AirVac, and the American Red Cross. Local groups and organizations are encouraged to set up tables but must pre-register for this event. Support from residents, businesses, and civic organizations is crucial to funding for this event. For questions, please contact Officer Casey Miller at millerc at theboonvillepolice.com. Actors Community Theater has announced they are now accepting applications for its annual $500 scholarship. To be eligible for the scholarship, applicants are required to have participated in at least three ACT productions, maintain a minimum GPA of 3.2, and either be graduating from high school in 2024 or currently enrolled in college. The deadline for applications is July 7th. Those who are interested in applying could submit their application through the Actors Community Theater website. This week marks National CPR and Automated External Defibrillator Awareness Week, raising awareness about the tools people can use to save the life of someone suffering sudden cardiac arrest. Nine out of 10 people who suffer cardiac arrest outside of the hospital die. As part of the Awareness Week, the American Heart Association is encouraging at least one person in every Indiana household to learn CPR. Some options to learn include taking an online CPR course, learning and practicing with a CPR anytime training kit, watching a 60 second video from the American Heart Association to learn hands only CPR, or finding a Heart Saver certification course located near you. That has been your in-depth look at your local news here on 18WJTS. We will be right back with a check of your forecast. 